Friday's here. It's metal and beer. And today's a wee special again. Before we start in there, beer review. I want you to go and check out this wee van here, Chrysalid. This is who we're playing at the minute. This is their, new, their album, Chrysalid, Back on the Streets. Go and check this van out on Facebook and also on their page on Instagram. Also, the main man in the van, it's his van, Emmanuel Thorson. Emmanuel, this is for you. Check out Emmanuel as well, Emmanuel Thorson on um, Instagram as well. So, a bit of chrysalid, back on the streets. Beer review a day, it's that time of a year again where we're going to be doing. Yellow leaves here. I remember the last time I done yellow leaves. That was absolutely minging. As soon as I would never do an alcoholic beer again, but this is Bex. Um, I've heard a lot of good reports about Bex, non alcoholic beer. So we'll give it a go. Now, because it's only a 275ml bottle, I have two bottles here to put in the glass to make it up a pint, to make it look as if I'm actually drinking something. So I'll put a couple of them into a glass here. See what we get. Kind of got a skunky smell from here, so we'll just no promising. But uh, we'll get them into a glass. We'll see what they think. A lot of boys say get them into a Bex glass too. Bex are a German beer. I actually like Bex as a beer normal, so we'll see what this here does. It's either going to be good or it's going to be pish. So. I know that AP I had on was condemned and I swore I would never die uh, another non-alcoholic lager, but this is for boys who um, have drinking problems and things and they maybe fancy a wee beer but they, they want it to put the alcohol on it so there we go, there's a full pint anyway I'm going to go for punishment because if it's shite, I had to drink a pint of shite instead of half a pint of shite but there we go, straw coloured beer, plenty of carbonation going on up on the glass there. Uh, no much a heat on it. So that's the women disappointed straight away, there's no heat for them and that. Because we know these women all like a big heat on the way in. Throw them on the way out. But we'll get us enough anyway to get the lift here. Straight away that smells like a a barley food, with a straw burn. The money's the time I spent the days out there. But it's no smelling too promising right now, but... Wheaty! Straw-like, straw-like colour, straw-like smell. Now I know that it has to be all, it's the alcohol to go but that hull has to be uh, brute because it's a German beer. Um, it's brewed in Germany, it has to be brewed under the Bavarian beer rules, so they can't really put any uh, crappy ingredients in it to, you know, to get another taste, so here it goes. Here a wee swig, shoot the drink with it. It actually tastes better than it smells, believe it or not. Got like a few girls out here, didn't we? It didn't smell too promising, but it tasted alright. So, this is sort of remind me of that. Um, I mean, that's, it's like a wee bit of watery taste off it, you know? Maybe because of how I had that glass chilling in the fridge as well. But it, it does taste very watery but if you didn't know you would swear that that was you would swear that that had alcohol in that but you would say it was an ordinary beer if somebody gave you that on a bluff you wouldn't know that it's a non-alcoholic beer there's no um, the carbonation like obviously you're getting plenty of wind coming over here
Oh, you've got a nice smooth taste. And then you're actually getting a, the taste oh, that you're actually drinking a proper pint. The mirror, it's, as I say, it's a normal alcoholic beer. It's quite surprisingly good. <laughs> it's actually that last time I had the Indian APA PLEO I reviewed that and if you look back on my reviews on YouTube, non rev nose the board metal and beer reviews, can't even get my in name right. Non rev nose the board metal and beer reviews on YouTube. If any any watch that go and check it out and type in the Indian PLEO. If you want to see my reaction to it. But this is completely different. This is just tasting like a real actual pint of beer. As you said, if somebody give you out there, you wouldn't know that it's no um, a pint of beer, apart from there's no heat on it, as I say. I felt like um, septic supporters who know their daft cunts too, there's no heat in them, but uh, you most certainly wouldn't even want to drink of them after them boys. They smell like piss right in the That's not bad. For a normal alcoholic beer, for anybody that's wanting to drive their motor or whatever, or has to go up for work the next day, or didn't want the wife you up and that, then for staggering them through the door, you, know, you could you could drink. I couldn't see me going out all night, me personally, and drinking that there, because my head would be turned if I was sitting all night drinking normal alcoholic beer, and everybody around me was getting pissed and talking a lot of pissed, you know what I mean? I would hurry be getting in the same state of them, but if you were on Talbots or something, you know, and the way we're doing it, I'll go and read Talbots. But if you were on antibiotics or something, you could sit and be sociable with a couple of them there, and you would you would think you were drinking a beer. And so you could pass it up as a real beer. Quite pleasant surprise Bex. Non-alcoholic beer. Works it. I think I worked out about 45p, 50p a bottle, so for a pound, you know what I mean? They're not going to complain. Now, obviously, if you're buying it in the pub, it's going to, they'll probably charge you about a quid a bottle. The Robin Cunts, that's where it's going to be in the pub, isn't it? But um, I think it was some bargains or something like that. But you get 15 bottles up for, I think, about 8 quid. And as this, so. For a non alcoholic beer, I'm quite pleasantly surprised. And I'm going to get an RV set. And then I'm going to get a rating. As far as non-alcoholic beers go, um, I'm a no non-alcoholic beer lover, as you know. But that's ex that's very very acceptable. I've, that was an ordinary Bex beer. I would probably get if it was a straightforward beer. I would get an eight out of ten for it being a Bex. But because it's a non-alcoholic beer, out of all alcoholic beers, I would give it 8 out of 10 as well. But because I'm a beer drinker, I'm giving that a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 for Beck's non-alcoholic beer. But anybody, as I say, that doesn't drink, would enjoy it. And uh, if you are an alcoholic, stay thirsty. But remember, check out Chrysalid and Emmanuel Thorson. Emmanuel. Well, that's the Grump and YouTube. Back in the streets is their album. So, till next time, stoke your musket, play with your mounds, metal and beers. Love you all. Over and out.